on though. So we're taking a break from working on the wagon this morning. The first time in a year that we've been able to push this outside of the shop with a steering wheel instead of kicking these front tires. Where do you want it? To the side of that other one? Um, we'll take it clear down as close as you can to the garbage, but by them cardboard boxes down there. This might be a recovery rig. <laughs> Closer. <laughs> it fits them really good. All right, right there. Step on the brakes. <laughs> what do you think of this thing, Ed? It's nice. Like an armored car. <laughs> Here at Fab Rat Shop. There's Paul. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, hey. look, and ladies here too. Here, Paul. Sweet. What would that be? That's a Matt's recovery rope. Signature series Yankum rope. Yankum quality. Matt's yellow. signature. Nice. Yellow. So that makes them better, right? Yep. So look at this. Let me let me show you what you're in. <clears throat> what's in store for you. <laughs> wow. So I know I'm not planning on doing the ex exhaust, but if everything goes good, we'll at least start it. Okay. So uh, this is what I was thinking. We'll unload it, get start pulling the motor, and then I will pull out the pieces that we need in the order we need them so we don't just put a whole bunch of stuff exactly. in there and then we can't find it. Can't remember whether it's in the truck okay. or where we put it in the shop. So I'm going to try to keep this truck as a organization bin. Sounds good. If you want to watch the rest of this build while we're here for the weekend, you can go watch this happen on Fabrat's channel. We'll go over in depth what we're doing more. So go check them out. So we're here on day two at Fabrat's shop getting stuff done. So we've been getting all the underside of this done and the firewall done. Everything inside here, we got the nice covers in place. Another nice cover there. So we're in a hurry to get everything done that the engine and transmission was keeping us from getting to. While that's been happening, we've kind of been ignoring Paul over here. Transmission painted as easy does it green. Just a thumb in my eye. <laughs> and then there's the transfer case. I'm pretty sure that's never going to be the same again. Now it's going to be better. Debbie's here making next. sure it's getting done. Jamie thinks we're goofing off, so she had to check in on us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We got these awesome brackets right here. These were made for Papa Dar's Jeep right there. But uh, I hijacked them. How do you want these welded on? You want them straight, tip, I whatever? Think, I think straight and pretty close to this end will be just fine. We are getting the, the shock towers. I guess these are technically struts. Yeah, they're Ori struts. Ori struts. And I think Ori pronounces their company O-R-I, but man, that's a lot of work. I don't care if you put these straight up and down or if you follow the angle of this. I don't think it's going to make one bit of difference. Yeah, I it's about time to start cleaning up this shop. It's our cameraman today, Colin. All right, so we're rebuilding the transfer case for the old Corvair. We twin it's going to be twin stick, so you can run too low or front wheel big if you need to. We're about to get all the parts cleaned up and I'm try to piece it back together. Perfect. Hot, ah, take that jack up. The more it cools, the Closer to get. 
day. We actually did more than we planned, just different stuff, really. They'll get it finished. Hope the training works. Me too. <laughs> We're back to work here on the wagon project. Well, we need back to work. <laughs> we've never, stopped. we've <laughs> never stopped. <laughs> so we went to Fab Rats <laughs> this, this weekend and uh, we did a couple things. We pulled the motor, transmission and transfer case, and we had Paul rebuild the transmission and transfer case. Um, and while we were there, we also got to put our strut mounts in. And so while Paul was rebuilding the engine and transmission, Rudy was just under this finishing the firewall and finishing the transmission tunnel. So that's 100% welded now. Yes. Um, today, uh, Rudy's going to finish up the back fenders, and we've got Trevor coming back. You guys, a lot of you know who Trevor is. He's going to come back and start helping us on this today. So we're gonna put him on various things under the dash, the shifter, um, just working on that kind of stuff. And John. Whoa! Those are temporary shots because the Ori's are coming in today. Wow. So did that happen up at Fabrats? Sure did. Yeah. So let me show you what I'm thinking here. A little bit darker gray and a little bit more winder yellow. What if we did that? Yeah, what if we did that to your trucks, too? You know, that looks slick. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning. Okay, Trevor, let's catch you up to speed. Okay, I need you to pull a Jeep seat out of whatever Jeep is out there, that tangerine one, just the passenger seat. Okay. Then <clears throat> I've got a bunch of under dash stuff, so I, those cans have all the fasteners that came from this. So I need you to dig through them and find the ones that go in here and mount the defroster. You'll mount the wiper stuff. Rudy's car's here as a reference. Okay. Those seat tracks over there just need to be cleaned up and inspected and ready for the upholstery when we come back. And then I need this shifter installed on the transmission. So this wire goes in here. We are that out. To organize this however you like. If you don't want to mess with the seat tracks, you're free to back them out of the way. Those can just go clear back in the corner where the other right work. The last one out of 20 pieces. And then you just gotta butt weld all those holes and then for the rest of my life. Weld and weld and weld and weld and weld. The steering column is in the way. Is that the right angle? I need you to hold that flat and hold that flat there. Or actually, I can hold it flat there. You just need someone to hold it flat. There you go. I think we're fine. How come that's going uphill so bad? You should fill it. Is in there. Lead? I just like to look at the 61. They went from the best emblem to the worst emblem. Hang on, hold on. I found the trim. This was a, this I told was, you we moved it. This was fruitful. <laughs> Who moved it? You did. I think I was here too. <laughs> I moved it? Like, I'm like, hey, go put this out there where it could get lost and stolen. That does not sound right. That sounds like you. We definitely need these oh, two. Not bad. Oh, those really? liners. Okay, what were we looking for? Emblems? A grill emblem? Yes. Here's a wagon part, Rudy. Oh, that one's actually in good shape. Yeah. Here's a OEM shift power cable. glide shift cable. Okay, let's go look somewhere else. Uh, 
<laughs> I should have all of. I've got every grill. Well, I found one. Is that a 61? Yep, that's a 61 grill. Why I do the start-stop zaps is because it's a thinner gauge metal and doing that greatly reduces the heat put into it. And since metal warps with heat, I don't want that. So doing that cuts down on the heat of it. And um, since this is a final process, it's just easier to control the joints in between. So let me, yeah, let me go get a wire brush and I'll grind it. Going like that just blends it a little bit better. So, yeah. And so, but when I do finally stop, when this weld reaches that weld, there'll be one on top. And I place them underneath every other rivet intentionally. Looking good. Our seats are off at a poultry, poultry. So I'm trying to figure out. And it's just not. So well, I'm going to have to use my imagination. We've got tons of room here, though. That's all we needed to know. I'm not going to measure this. I don't know if that's right. Well, you didn't make this line on there. I didn't need to because I marked off yeah. the edge. Why'd you cut that out, Rudy? Because the Corvair was not a front engine car and was not designed to have air go through a solid sheet of metal. <laughs> so we had to cut it out to put something else in to let air in. This grill will go in there. And it'll, uh, I'll cut it to match that, both sides, and uh, hopefully it looks all right. More work to do now. <laughs> So Lizzie eats salt and vinegar chips. When she's not eating nachos, she eats salt and vinegar chips. Anybody who would eat salt and vinegar chips would drink their own bath water and howl at the moon. Here, do you want Lizzie, one? Lizzie, those are my favorite too. Right, no. Like I said, <laughs> like I was saying. Just like that. Look at that. I like it, Ruby. Good morning, man. How's it going? Good. Matt's doing a good job, so I, I can't uh, uh, kick him around. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We're gonna want the bolt through the other way if it will go. Maybe it won't. What? Okay. That's the leather down. Reverse, neutral, drive, second. Does it, does it work? Of course it works. Ah! As far as Corvair grills go, this one looks okay. It's got a Cadillac look to it. 
because the Cadillacs had that Frank that stamp back. Back, Yeah. Here, hold that in Frank place. Show. Let me get something else for you. Well, it's supposed to go right there, and I think we should. We'll just modify the length of it, put it in there. Problem solved. That looks good. And we want it higher than lower anyway, because the winch is going to kind of take up some space here. Front end's coming together. Good job, Rudy. You have doubt. Ooh, we got some sloppy sloppy, sloppy sloppy there. I don't think that's tightened up. No. Yeah. Because I knew we were taking it off. Um, where's the jam nuts on those? We need to put They're on one. one end. They're on there. Oh, they're just not threaded all the way? Yeah. Oh, awesome. It's coming together. Look at that, Rude. Look how close the tolerance is that we built this to. It's just amazing. Yeah, we knew. That's <laughs> why we had to fix this one. <laughs> All right, so come in here and check this out. So we've got the twin stick shifter in and the transmission shifter in. Uh, we did a little bit of uh, re... We're changing the brackets a little bit to make the exhaust fit better and get us a little bit better geometry on the four link. Not, not big changes, just little tweaks. And then Rudy worked on the fenders. He's got these welded up. And then he was working on the grill. Am I the only one that thinks this looks so cool? That Corvair grill on there. 3D, man. Like that. Gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Probably up there like that. We'll figure it out. It's gonna look good.